Loving Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. That it is you who has called the people from the north, south, east and west. To come here and to be nourished by your pure spiritual milk. Just like a baby. For a milk from a mother. So we are come here to thirst for your word, which is a spiritual milk that comes from you. Oh Father, as we have opened our hearts and our ears to listen to your voice. Nourish us, O oh Lord, with the power of your truths. And let the truth transform our life that we produce the fruit that lasts forever that we always abide in you Jesus and live a life that is pleasing to you that you who have given us your light we will carry this light to the ends of the earth we thank you and we praise you for teaching us the truths make this preaching and teaching absolutely Absolutely easy for everyone to understand so that we can practice it and have a deeper relationship with you. Thank you for the great signs and wonders that you are going to perform, the miracles that you are going to perform, the lives that you are going to change, people who are going to be delivered from all kinds of addiction and sin. Thank you that your kingdom shall be established in our hearts. And we will live for your glory. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name. And all God's people said. And all God's people said. Please be seated. Please be seated. This morning you have been praising and thanking God. Singing loud songs of praise. First of all praising God for who he is. And what he has done in our life. And continues to do in our life. And that's why it is very important as a Christian, as a believer of Christ, that we develop a lifestyle of praise and thanksgiving. There are many people who are Christians, but they have developed or they have learned or they have cultivated a practice of not being a person of praise, but a person who is all the time worried, anxious, and fearful. This lifestyle has to be cultivated of praise. It does not happen by, by default. It has to be cultivated. There's lots of labor. Because in the natural, the devil always wants us to focus on our problems rather than focusing on God. The devil always wants us to doubt and have a negative attitude, a negative mindset in every situation so that we fail to focus on God. Right now, everybody's focus is on my brother, what he's doing. And that's exactly how our mind is. We have learned not to focus on things that are more priority, 
but to focus on everything all around us. And only in one more point you go, the Lord of Pin Matira Man Meshimwa, and the Lord of Pin Matira Man Meshimwa. And that's why our mind gets so quickly diverted or distracted or drifted away from what God has for us. And in the Lord of Pin Matira we were will man ring us why I come pin. But one of the powerful technique or tactics of the devil is to get you out of focus of God and get focused on other things around you so that you are drifted away from God. And if the devil can keep your mind stayed on your problems or distraction other than God and his word, then he has already defeated you. He has already taken you on a journey of destruction. So why do we have this praise and thanksgiving? The Bible says, enter his gates with praise and his courts with thanksgiving. For us to get connected to God, praise and thanksgiving is extremely, extremely important. Supposing we take a record of one day, in one day how much time are you focused on what God said in his word and how much are you praising God and thanking God and how much of the time in the whole day are you focused on your problems and situations and circumstances. <laughs> There are many who are seated here who are going through terrible, terrible problems in life. Those problems are all the time talking to you. For example, you will be saying, there are two people talking to us right now. That's not the truth. There are not two people talking. But everyone who is listening to what is being spoken, your mind also is talking to you. When your mind begins to talk to you, things that are negative, and you keep on listening to it over and over again, it produces a stress, it produces a negative emotion or a negative feeling. And slowly but surely you are becoming a victim. Now you are extremely angry, extremely frustrated, extremely upset. And this is the way the devil attacks people. And, and, and nobody told us that when the thoughts are talking to us, that's the time the devil is attacking us. Nobody told us and that's why we have been practicing it for years and believing that it's okay to have negative thoughts in our mind. Those negative thoughts will get you out of focus of God and His Word and get you focused on your problems and now in your mind those problems might be small but they are growing into a mountain. And is this an experience that each one is going through? I don't know about the people of Uganda. But people around the world are going through this. Even though your mouth is shut, isn't your mind talking to you? Are not thoughts talking to you? 
Even when father is asking your question, you are like this. Father is asking your question. When your mind talks to you, and you are receiving those negative thoughts. Without your knowledge, your mind has been captivated by the devil. And that knowledge and that information that you have received is slowly but surely taking over your mind. We came from India. On an aircraft. We were more than 250 people with all that luggage. And there were only two men who were the pilots. They were in the cockpit. And they controlled the whole flight. They carried us. The luggage. The aircraft. And brought us to Uganda. Uganda. In the same way, your mind is the pilot of your life. This body begins to move on the, on the way your mind thinks. If the devil knows if I can get the mind, I can get the whole body. I can use this body in my purpose. And when Satan uses your body by captivating your mind, he always leads you into sin and a journey of destruction and a journey of sorrow and a journey of pain. You Your enemy is not somebody. Your enemy is the thoughts that you get about somebody. Because if your thoughts are wrong, your body will always have a wrong action. The devil knows it. And that's why he's captivating our mind with the lust of the of the flesh, with the corruption of this world, with sin, and surely but hundred percent destroys our life. Now what happens when a person is praising God? When a person starts praising God, the mind is focused, is is stopping the focus on the thoughts that were going on in your mind of worry, and now the person uh, focus is changed onto God and is praising God, and at that time that praise destroys the technique, the tactics of the devil. You people are very good in praising God. But the question is, do you praise God even when there are bad situations going on? Can you or do you praise God only when the music goes on? Or, or you praise God only when there is a community praise. Or you praise God only when there is a community praise. Praise helps you to fight and a spiritual battle that is going on in your mind and destroy the technique, the tactics of the devil. 
Nyoto luing pas itani mau chei kuo peri man keti timu sitani pende kuriya kopare. The devil did not twist Adam's hand. Sitani omeno ching Adam ungo kumai. Or his hand. Kani ching eva detu ungo. And attack them. Man bende kai ma koke. No 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 he did not do that. Sitani timu pinda kumeni ngo. He spoke words. Ewe shulembe. So that he could captivate their mind. So that the kwekare robo kama koparo meke. Satan knows. Sitani ngeyo. If I can captivate the mind of a person. Ni ake robo ni ma koparo man nge chupangati. I can make the person do the very thing that he hates to do. No kie robo ni ketu ngati ni timu pinda ngati eno dako. I can make the person slave all his life. Aromuni keto na tini berbongi kwa parizo. And that's what Satan did. Eni re pinda sitani timo. He changed your mind from being caught conscious to self conscious. Ega meloko paro padamu kwe vagi kaka keto ken miki man paro miki kumongo gisha koka keto paro miki. There was so much of goodness in the Garden of Eden. Lembe ma polo beruti ma beshi polo. Of all the goodness. Satan made them focus on that one tree. Satan you keep to pare wangi kineno ikumiena shi. In the same way God has blessed you. Yore marome ni mungu mikiri mungu sa. With so many things. Kupin ma pol. So much of goodness. Bero kende kende. But he will call. He will get your mind out of that goodness and focus you on something that is troubling you. Ente wato paro peri kumgin ma bero ente keto paro peri kumpin mo pesendi. And if he can get you there. And don't care about my ko paro peri kesi. And those thoughts begin to talk to you. Don't paro peri shakuni we shukuni. And you fail to captivate those thoughts. Mani ibe ikuero ni woku miti peri neki. Those thoughts will create an emotion and a feeling in you. And don't paro enu gamu kero ya kini ko peri. Give you it. Will captivate you. A gamma ko paro peri. This body. Come e. Is neither good or bad. A rash dengo, a bad dengo ba. This body only hears the command of the mind. A don come e. Tio man e winju kite chick ba u paro. And this mind gets corrupted or good by the the basis of the thoughts that you have. A don paro mo ake nyoti re. I kum gin matira. I kum paro mo ama wakuto kude sa wachete. And thoughts are produced by words. A don paro ke gin makele uti e wesu. That's why. Satan spoke words to him. Eni re muke to Satani we shall learn the name of God. The same way God speaks to us through His words, so that He can change our thoughts. Eni re lebe marome ni bungu we shall learn the iwa we kare romo ni loko paro moa. But when you open your mouth and start praising God, ente te ki ya pulebi manisha kupa kumongo. Your focus is diverted from your problems, and your focus is now on God. E don paro peri we kupa paro mo paro mara chete benero bang mongo. And this is how a person wins a spiritual. Battle that is going on in his mind. My friend, whoever you are. Jariba, kadiro ibedna. There is always something to worry about in our life. Kwa kuruwe iti kupindo kumadi ya mushindi kwa. In the same way, there is something to worry about. In the same way, there is something more to thank God for what He has done in our life. Yore marome ni kadiro ibedna tia kulebe mo kumadi ya mushindi. Eto yore marome utiele be mo kumadi ya mushindi. 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 Mo kumadi On one side you can think about your problems. On the other side you can think and thank God for the good things that he has done in your life. There are so many people who have got cancer. I went to Ireland. I see the Ireland. And I saw the people over there. And then Udaro Magiti Kesha. Out of five people. He came down a bridge. Four people. Then and when? Are either in stress. No utiye ya them. Or they are suffering from arthritis. Kono ye iru ango pe commission e present oge. Or they are suffering from skin disease. Kono ye iru ango to mimbe le present oge. Or they are suffering from cancer. Kono ye cancer pe shamo. Out of five four. He come down and when a bridge and when kokoro. So how much good? There are so many who are blind. So many who are deaf. So many whose kidneys are not functioning. There is so much to thank God for. And the most beautiful thing that you can thank God for. Is that God has given you the ability to see. Is that God has given you the ability to see. Is that God has given you the ability to see. Is that God has given you the ability to see. Is that God has given you the ability to see. Is that God has given you the ability to see. Is that God has given you the ability to see. Is that God has given you the ability to see
God has given his son Jesus to you and me as a savior of the world. We got to thank God that our life on earth we are going on. A life on earth is a wink of an eye. Compared to the millions of years that we are going to live in heaven with Jesus. We thank Jesus for forgiving our sins. Giving us his Holy Spirit. Making us a new creation. Baptizing us with the fire of God. There is so much to thank God for. Remember my friend. Whatever you think the most in your life every day. That is going to be the direction of your life. You can either keep praising God all the time. Or you can be a person who is all the time complaining and murmuring. The Israelites were blessed by God so much. Brought them out of Egypt, out of slavery. And it was God's desire to take them to the promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Even though it was God's desire, even though it was God's plan, even though it was God's purpose, that did not come to pass. Many of you who are sitting here might be thinking, whatever is happening in my life is God's plan, God's purpose, because God is almighty and God controls all things. Yes, God is Almighty. Yes, His power is infinite. But He has given you the freedom of choice. He doesn't control all things. He has given you the freedom of choice. Even though it was God's plan, that plan did not come to pass. None of those Israelites reached the promised land. Except for Joshua and Caleb. So these were the two ones who focused on what God said. The mind was focused on God. Whereas the Israelites, they saw the guys. Plagues after plagues God sending in the land of Egypt to bring them out of Egypt. They saw the power of God. They were the ones who saw the Red Sea parted by. They were the ones who passed through the Red Sea. They were the ones who saw Pharaoh's army being destroyed when the sea water came back and they were all drowned. They have seen all the power. They have seen the Lord's glory. They saw the, the, the pillar of fire and the clouds all the time protecting them. But yet, they all the time kept grumbling. They all the time kept complaining. They all the time kept Murmuring because their thoughts were captivated by their circumstances. Their mind was captivated by their troubles. Their mind was captivated by wrong knowledge that came from the world and not from God. It was their decision. In frustration, they said to God. It is better for us to die in this desert than go to that land where there are giants there. They are going to eat us. And God said, just as you said, 
Chalo mawasho. So shall it be. No more keeping kumeno. My friend. Jarimba. The devil knows. Chitani ngeyo. That God has given to man a very powerful gift. Nia mongo umiko ni dano gin mapire tek magwe mich matek. That is to speak words. Nia tek ni weshu weshu. God spoke the word. Mungu weshu lembe. And created the word. Eka meshu yo mom. And God created man in his likeness and image. Mungu shu dano ia ipare mani kura pare. Man is not God. But man is a reflection of God. Man is like God. Then he also opens his mouth and speaks words. Coming out from his heart. Those words have the power to create things in the future. This power is not given to the angels. This power is not given to any creation. बाबा <laughs> This power is given to only man. Satan doesn't have this power to create things. He thought he had this power. And that's why he opened his mouth and spoke. I will go and sit on the throne. I will be the most high. I will rule over the heavens. He spoke those words. He spoke those words. Why are you all looking at them? I don't know why people of Uganda get so quickly distracted. And if you can get distracted by these two brothers going out, can you if you can get distracted by these two brothers going out, can you if you can get distracted by these two brothers going out, can you if you can get distracted by these two brothers going out, can you This shows your lifestyle. Because you get so quickly distracted. The devil doesn't need to work hard. He can distract you so quickly. And that distraction is the work of the devil. So that you will never reach God's destination. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Oh for Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Oh for Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Oh for Jesus. There was I. What was What's I? What's given to human person? It was the devil who said he stood up. The, the, the devil said, I'm, I'm going to sit on the throne. He kept on saying, believing that he has the power. But that power is not given to man. Uh, to the Satan. Satan is not given to man. The power is not given to man. And Lucifer who said those words, he was an angel. When his words did not work, he came to man and he rebelled against God. He rebelled against God. And he became Satan. And he became Satan. What thought of the angels became demons? And don't Now Satan knows. He cannot do my words mane wish lembe pasitani then my words will bring destruction in their life and only no one who wish pasitani chagamke la nyoba nyoba ikinju kristo if anybody wants to know your future kana chiboku be mitenge ya nyimperi bible says in proverbs 18:21 biblia be washi ibuku mila babola para bora pero shell death and life is in the power of your tongue woku to utie itegu milibi Those who love it shall eat its fruit. Daro magimare gipishamo anyenge. Out of your mouth can come words of life. Idogi doki lebiro muni walk lebe miko. Out of your mouth will come words of death. Edogi lebiro muni walk lebe mito. 
So blessing and cursing is in your mouth. Elo mugisa man kuongutia elebu wa ju Kristo. Good health and sickness is in your mouth. Kwa mayot man bende chan utie idogi. Your future is in your mouth. Ahi peri no kani peri deni lebi. The words that you speak creates or destroys you. Elo mlebe mayi weju giri kuru nyobupi. And that's what God is saying. Elo rotia lebe mamungo pawasho. So you can make a choice today. Am I going to develop a lifestyle of praise and thanksgiving? Or am I going to develop or, or not develop or am I going to continue in my life complaining and murmuring? Am I going to a lifestyle of speaking in faith or am i going to develop or am i going to continue my life of fear kuno nya beshi gero kuo para mi weshi ishi kuno nya kashi gero kuo para mi kuo iluru god is saying to you my friend do not blame me do not point finger to me mungu be wachu i wajarimba kuni shima an kuni chim lueti ikuma galatians chapter 6 verse 7 says that in book of jo galatia busi ala pishi washo god is not mocked Mungu zo diri de negengo do not be deceived kuni we juvuri god is not mocked ngati moku mara moni nyao diri moku one of man sows pain mangati shoyo that he will surely reap no kipi kayo lende mi shoyo be so if you are a person of praise adongi daro mi pa ku mungu you have activated life in your life and in your future adongi gami gero ko man bende anyimperi but if you are a person of worry and anxiety and complaining and grumbling and all those things you have made that choice your future is going to be destructed because you are the one who planted the seed i don't take it book in go in one one mapol kaperi one mapol igje kumor e ya jikine sitani de jinyo ta nyimperi pirango inde ma ipido kodi mimor man bende kodi mi church I don't know about you people in Uganda. I know you go one of that me Uganda. I don't know your farmer may plant a mango seed. Then you can do a carry the Romani pito ning mango. And praying every day with fasting and praying in church and telling everybody to pray so that he gets pineapple out of the mango trees. No ki lego kadi kuriu ke chisa wa chicheke yeki lezia mani washo ni daro mugebe de olegnia mango peri e o make iri nyinga na nasi. Beti mire kumeni. And that's what we are doing. Any repeat now what the team the whole day our mind is captivated with worry when my paul in wangu ku bangi do do nech moment paro wa uponku the whole day Masendi. the whole day our heart is with corruption with offense bitterness as cursing one another speaking negative and bad words to one another and when we come to church we are opening our mouth and praising god and say god bless me he saying my dear you planted a mango seed how are you asking for pineapples no ni no no ngwa poli kwa mwa wa pedu eni ku banku gwero ni ai ku gwero ni shitu bi bi wori wa wesho kwa tito nyin wa ne kukura patano wa bekesho tano wa bekongo tano eto te kwa shitu kilezia wa washo mungu mikira mugisa mungu be washo kwa ro mungu mikiri mugisa nenebi Pin me be pin pin pasho mani kindano munge utie mango dongi be mitu ke inwa ngana nasi ne ne di So when the praise is going on you can be dancing and say mangoes are coming mangoes are coming e dong mango be woku be twi Oh sorry pineapple are coming e be washo ni ya ananasi re mu be woku be ngoni ngana nasi ne But throughout the day you are living your life in corruption e inwa ngu ka woni wa woku dul to Christo e wisha ngoma ai ku di toki ja Christo Woma ai ku di ku perike uti ango ja ku ju karizimati kwa ke wane no ma berba Are you angry with me? Ne ishindre kurume kui komo apa? Because nobody is even smiling at me. Pero ngona ti moku mo benyero dempe. Le moku benu ke tu ponde lem kwenda pa mungu moku na ko to tani ngo mo inu. Piero le matira. Listen, if I tell the musician to just put the beats. Kawoli eni 
everybody to just sit down. Nobody stands. And the kids are going on. The body will start swinging. I wonder you people in Africa, even when you're sleeping, if the music is on on the neighbor, even in your sleep you will be moving. Music is in your blood. Music Just as music is in your blood, let, let the word of God be in your blood. Because when the word of God is in your blood, that word of God will bring life, life in abundance. And that's why many of you are frustrated. You are saying, I went for the crusade. I danced, I praised, I shouted, even my voice. Didn't but God is asking you, throughout the day, what kind of seeds are you planting? Throughout the day, what kind of thoughts are in your mind? Praise God. Four years of Christo. Let me give you an example. When Adam sinned, he hid behind the tree. Because, because now Adam and Eve came to know that they were naked. Were they not naked before? They were naked. But their mind was so pure that they were covered with God's glory. They did not even know that they were naked. When God's glory was gone, and they saw that their naked, they said, What a shame to be naked. And they saw that they are naked. They took fig leaves and covered themselves. 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 And God came in search of them. Look at God, how much He loves us. He knows that Adam and Eve have made a mess. But He doesn't abandon them. He still comes in search of them. He still loves them. He still wants to save them. That's my God. That's my God. My God comes in search of me. I must have got deceived. If God doesn't leave me in deception, He comes to His light to expose the darkness so that I respond to Him and my life is changed. So Adam and Eve was hiding behind the tree. And God says, Adam! 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 Where are you? What does Adam say? Adam says, Adam says, Adam says, I heard you coming and I was afraid because I'm naked and that's why I hid behind the tree. For the first time, the word Afraid comes in the Bible. The word fear is not there till Adam disobeyed God. God created a relationship with him of love. A connection of faith. But there was no fear. Adam and Eve would come and meet God every day. But today he is hiding. Because he is naked. He is naked. And God asked him. Adam. Adamo. Who told you? I never told you you are naked. So that means. Satan not only. Made them disobey God. After the disobedience, he also pointed them. You are naked. See, you are naked. You can't go to God anymore. You are naked. He wanted Adam and Eve to be separated from God and stay away from God. In the same way, today. 
and every day Satan speaks to us so many deceiving things and we believe his lies we believe his lies and we open our mouth and speak his lies and when you have opened your mouth and spoken the words of the devil that word will come to pass. Just as God's word comes to pass, in the same way the words of the devil coming out of your mouth will come to pass. Because God has given you that power. That your words are power to bring things into marriage. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So the next time you say, I'm sick. I got diabetes. I got blood pressure. I got this sickness. I got that sickness. You know what God is saying? Who told you? I never told you you are sick. I never said you got diabetes. I never said you got cancer. I said in 1 Peter 2.24 was crucified on the cross by his wounds you are already healed. Who is talking to you? And who are you talking to? You are not talking to me. I told you. My son sacrificed for you. His name is Jesus. Every part, every part of his body was wounded. And it was wounded for your sake. By those wounds, not that you will be healed, but the Bible says in 1 Peter 2.24, you were already healed. What is the devil telling you? What's the devil telling you? Sitani be wash irango. You are sick. You tie kutu. You got this. You tie kolembe ma. You got that. You tie kolembe ma. The doctor said this. The kitari ki wash irango. The symptom says this. Don't like la la ne ne ne. This one says this. Masha wash irango. That one says this. The kitari wash irango. Masha. Whom are you going to believe? Don't you be shy, you na. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to God? And if you are talking to God, He just said to you, By the stripes and wounds of Jesus, you were healed. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Let's say somebody comes and says, Somebody has put a spell on you. Somebody has put a curse on you. Have you heard this? Does it happen in Uganda? It happens. Does it happen? And somebody comes and says, "There's a spell on you. There's a, there's a, a cold or witchcraft done on you." You ngati moku ayu pinu wa shirinya inreba juroki naoki ajoga moku umakuti buperi. Now what are you thinking the whole day? Inke be parango duwe. Come on, what are you thinking the whole day? Ibe parango diesheng duwe. The whole day you are thinking somebody has done something on me. Somebody has put a spell on me. Somebody has done this, somebody has done that. And the whole day you are thinking on those things. You are fearful. 
And you are telling everybody. But let's see what God has said. Genesis chapter 12. Verse number 1. Verse now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get Edo, thee out of your country. And from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, and to the land that I will show you, and I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you, and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing, and you shall be a blessing. Now Listen to verse number three. I don't which verse are there. If you got a Bible, see it with your own eyes. God said to Abraham, Mungu Abraham. I will bless them that bless thee. I will bless them that bless thee. And curse him that curse thee. And in you shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Take me with my so give me one more. You know what this word says? We who are Christians, we who are Christians, we who are baptized in Jesus, we are the blessed people of God, and what God has blessed, we are the blessed people of God, and what God has blessed, we are the blessed people of God, and what God has blessed, we are the blessed people of God, he said if somebody is coming and blessing you That person gets blessed But if somebody is coming and cursing you God is saying I will curse him you know what this truth says? You know what this word says? If somebody is coming and doing witchcraft on you, God says I will curse that person. Then somebody will say, If this word is true, then why are so many bad things happening in my life? Those bad things are happening, first of all, because you are deceived. First of all, because you have believed the lies of the devil. Because you do not know the truth. Blessings comes according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. The word of God says when a person hearkens to the voice of God, when a person obeys the word of God, obeys the commandments of God, all these blessings will come. But the same person, when he disobeys God, then all these curses will come. If somebody else is coming and cursing you And you believe in Jesus You are living in obedience to God You are in fellowship with God That curse will not come on you But the curse will go back to the person and destroy him But if you are living a life of disobedience, then that curse will surely get activated in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So every day, who is talking to you? From where are you receiving your information? From where are you receiving your knowledge? Who is preaching to you? Because whatever you are receiving, if it's not according to the word of God, you are deceived. 
And when you are deceived, you will believe the lies of the devil and you will walk in a mess. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody will say, there's a curse on my life. There's a curse on my life. God is saying to you, who told you that? I never said that. I said to you, according to Galatians 3.13, when my son was crucified on the cross, I, the father, made my son to be a curse for you when he was nailed on the cross. So that by making him a curse, he can redeem you from every curse of the law. Because Jesus, my son, took your place on the cross and became a curse for you. So that now, you're not under the curse, but you are under Abraham's blessing. That's what Galatians 3, 13 and 14 says. Whom are you listening to? Who is talking to you? When I read that scripture years back, I did not clap like you clapped. I clapped and I clapped and I wept. And I cried and I cried. And I said to God, You mean to say, God, all the mess that I did in my life, you mean all that I did wrong, you nailed it on your son Jesus on the cross for my sake? And he said, yes, because I love you. And I set you free. I said, you mean to say, I, I'm, I'm totally free? And he said, yes, you're totally free. Because my son paid the price. With his blood and with his life. And he has redeemed you. Redeemed you. Eleri. What's the meaning of the word redeem? What's the meaning of the word redeem? Let's say I kidnap Father David. And I know his parents are very rich. So I make a call. And I tell them. I want a thousand million. I will meet you million daily for dark. And then I will give you your Sunday. I will, I will give you your Sunday. So just because he is in my hand, does it mean that he is mine? No. He is still the son of their, his parents. But because his parents love him, they want to release him. And to release him, they have to pay the price. Even though the son is theirs, he has been kidnapped. To release him, they pay the price. That's called redeem. In the same way, when Adam disobeyed God, his disobedience made us a slave. And we were sold into slavery. And Satan bound us. So Jesus paid the price with his blood, with his life, with the torture that he went through the cross so that he could redeem us. And we are now redeemed to will from the curse of the law. We are no longer under curse but we are under God's blessings. Are you now when you understand this truth are you going to be praising God or, or cursing? Or 
Many a times you hear people say, Wang mapol wa winjo dano washo. I'm so scared. Ah, luoru peneka magwe. Have you heard people say, I'm so scared? Wang mapol ibe winjo madaro washo. Ah, anden diri kuluoru peneka. I got so much of fear. Ati e kuluoru madit. God is asking you. Mungo be penji. Who told you? Ngawa shiri. Who told you? Ngawa shiri. Who are you talking to? Nga mi be weshi bange. Who are you talking to? Mi be weshi banga. Two Timothy one seven says. Jo. Timoteo, Ario Ashela Piro Bewasho. Two Timothy one seven says. Timoteo Mirarionde Ashela Piro Bewasho. God has not given you the spirit of fear. Mungu mi kuiringo tipu miluoro. God has not given you the spirit of fear. Mungu mi kuiringo tipu miluoro. But He has given you power, love, and sound mind. Ente mi kuirisho putego man bende kuoma yot. But He has given you. Power, love, and sound mind. Ento mungu mikuiri, shopu mar man bedu matira. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So can you now say that I've got fear? Ento giromo ni washu ni eti e kuluoru de. You got to tell yourself. Dogo maki washu ni giri. What God has said. Gin maruet mungu washu. God has not given me the spirit of fear. Mungu mikuirango tipu mi luoru. He has given me power. He has given me love. He has given me a sound mind. He has given me self-control. What are you talking? Who is talking to you? Who is giving you thoughts of fear? Is it God? Or are you listening to the devil? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Oh for yes. 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 So what does praise do? E don pack e ti mo pinjango. Praise will help you to build up your faith. E don pack ke ti gieru i speri. So the more and more. E don ba duong man ba duong. You are a person of praise. I ti daro mi packi. You will be able to captivate every negative thought that is coming. Hey, Gabi, no ago ibe maku paro maru chucheke mu be mondi kuoperi. Hallelujah. 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 Two Corinthians chapter ten verse three says. Two Corinthians mirari onda para de kuwasho. Let me read it for you. A par verse na de kuwasho. Two Corinthians mirari onde a par verse a de. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Listen, my brothers and sisters who are Christians, you will be saying, I am a Christian. And that's why I'm supposed to be in love. Surely you should be walking in love. But in the spiritual realm, we Christians are always in a war. We are war we are in war against the powers of darkness. What ye luen ni kutego mi mutu. But we when we are in war, ento ka what ye luen ni, we war against an enemy who is a spirit. E gamin wa ngwa kedu luen ni kum jamone ma utie tipu. And the spirit cannot be seen. E don tipu we ne nende go. So the weapons that you use against the spirit, e don Jamluin mai tiu kure kumtipu are not natural. Utiengo koma eni, but they are spiritual. Ento giti e koi itipu bende, and they are so mighty. Edo giti e kumagwe, they come from God. Ki ai kuni pan mungu, and they are mighty to pull down the stronghold. Edo jamluin mai tiu kure tiu jamluin mai tek mai ramoni toro man bende duogu chieke kan kari mai tek ne stronghold kari bende usho. What's the stronghold? Osho tie ka peru bale ne di. What's the stronghold? Osho mila de boku e tie ka peru. Stronghold are those thoughts. Utie paro magitie kuomwa. That has captivated a person's mind. Maoma ko paro pangati. That the person's mind is set on those things. Mai luango ni a paro peru shungi kompenjo. The person will all the time think about it. Na tie ni be paro pire. In the same way. Iore marome no. And be captivated by those thoughts. And he is a prison in that stronghold. He is a prisoner. Let me give you an example. Supposing father tells me. 
Can you father washira? Can you see the first tree there, brother? Inenu yen mirachelja. Be careful about the tree. Wakiri kum yen chaba. It has been told to me. Jowashu ira yeneno. Twelve o'clock in the afternoon. It's our busi elmitiye sheng. Don't pass under the tree. Kodi kadi te yeneno. There are people who have suddenly uh, fallen down and they have died. Utiye dano moko makagi kadi te yeneno gipodum bir gitondo. He told me once. Awashira wanga awashire wanga shell. Next day I'm traveling. Ini ndu mirari onda be water be kado. And it is ten to twelve. I don't get here. You can't miss our bus shell. What he said, will those thoughts come to my mind? Lembe ma awashire cha. Lembe cha bika dungo i paro pareni ya. What happened? They are not responding. They are responding. Keshi nyo be negu waba. Jobe washu kumai, lembe ma e washu iresha. Kasa wane romu, doke be kado. Lembe cha bit kado, ngoi paru peri. That it will pass. After one year. Inge yora shiel. I am passing by the tree. Ebe kado kendite yenenu. I have forgotten everything. We will ikum lembe cha. Suddenly I look at the watch. Kainenu sawa. Five to twelve. Eu don dai ka bish ni ramo sawa abusiel. Kai be kadi te yeneno. Will my thought come? Paru peri be binu kendo. It will still come. Be bina so. And when I see it is five to twelve, I want to go. I'll turn and go back. Kai neno don don dai ka bish ni ramo sawa abusiel. Kaka kaka duke je lo kiri ve. Why am I doing that? Pirango iti mu makumeno. Because that thought has become a stronghold. Pirango paru sha don go giri re ingech para. When we were small, some of our people in Tindo Tindo. In India, in India, they take line. In Wangu Wangu Mapol Jutingu, they pass a thread through it. And demo, jogam juketu. They put five, five chilies on it. Jogam juketu send demo kia. And a small charcoal on it. They don't give me in Wangu juketu. And they tie it together. Juketu ah maka itere jogam tuye karashe. And then they put some color powder. They give me in Wangu juketu pin mo kiwi. And they tie it to the vehicle. Jogam jutuye ikom. So that the vehicle should not break down. We karaku kumu to carry a auto. Sometimes the thread breaks. And the lime and chili is on the way. When people look at it, they'll not stamp it. They'll cross the way and go away from it. Because somebody has told them that there is power, evil power in that. If you go close to it, you might get afflicted on your leg. And you'll go home. Now what happens when a person looks at that lime? His mind has become, there is a stronghold in his mind. You Africans don't have any strongholds like this. They have. So give me one example in English. No, no, give me one example in English. Then you can translate. Okay. Them. One of the stronghold, mm. it is believed there is a mysterious uh, creature known as Jalabok. Jalabok? Yeah. It Jalabok. Is, yeah, it is something that it is meant to tease and threaten the children. That when you go where it is dark, that thing will eat you up. So children grows up and even elders grows up in fear. What Jasika Bok? Jala Bok. Jala Bok. So how many people have got in their mindset Jala Bok? Daradi mikin dua magiti e kuparo pa Jala Bok. So all kinds of fear is put into us. When we were small, it has become a stronghold. We have become big. But still we have fear. And the Bible says that God has given us a weapon to break down this stronghold. This weapon is the word of God. This weapon is the word of God. Let me tell you my story. 
I was having a good business. E bedu kukuloka ma ber. Money was not a problem. Pinga julongo sende o bedu pe kungo ipoka. But my habits were extremely bad. Ento kura paro bedu kura ma ratio. I always loved to go and fight. E maro wang ma poli shi doni dao kufu diri kudano. So I would be in the gangs. E gamin wang e bedi u kungo kudano. I would be in the clubs. Ma in wangu kishi di mielge. So my life was full of sin. E don kuwa paro bedu kuwa mu pongo dubu. So when I lived that bad life, it affected my life. And I lost everything. So when my business was not working, one person led me to the occult. In those days I did not know Jesus. So when I went there, that person gave me a red bag. I don't know what was there in it and this person said go at midnight on a lonely road a four road and at the center you have to keep that bag and when you turn don't dare to look behind if you look behind you are finished you are finished so 12 o'clock night, I went and kept the bag. And when I turned, fear gripped me. I began to walk and was thinking something is happening behind. But the words of that person kept ringing in my mind. Don't look behind. You are finished. Don't look behind. All my hair is standing with fear. I walked, 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 and then I started to run. From the next day, my business began to work. It worked for three months. And then it closed permanently. But in these three months, fear took over me in such a way that my mind was captivated by demonic power. I forgot everything. My memory was gone. I could not recognize my wife, my children. I did not even know who I am. I did not know my name. I would be speaking to myself. That became my condition. My mind was captivated. By a power. That I did not know who I was. There was only fear and fear and fear and fear in me. I could not take bath with the door closed. My wife has to stand there. I could not remain in a room by myself. My wife or children has to be in the room. That was my condition. And in the midst of that condition, one lady came to my house and she told my wife, there is a place where the word of God is being preached. If you can take your husband there, he will surely be saved. And that's how this lady, hallelujah, hallelujah, this lady locked her children in her house. They were only 10 and 12 years old. Came to my house and took me to that place. And I was introduced to the word of God. As I began to listen, I began to realize the kind of life that I lived. I made a decision to confess my sins. God only knows after how many years. I repented. And my journey began with Jesus. When I 
encounter Jesus, Same rombu ku Yesu, I did not have money to eat food. E sende misha I lost everything. E and my journey began. E don the word of God became my life. Lembe pa mungu I began to read the Bible 14 hours, 15 hours a day. E shako kakwano biblia, sawa maroma parangwen, apara bitch kubani. But I could not understand. Ente romu ngoni nyang. And I began to cry. E shako kaywa. And I said, God, I don't understand. E shako kawasho munga benyangu ngo. God saw my tears. Mungu na eno piwange. He saw the thirst in me. Ene na vama ni iye. He suddenly opened my mind. E ya bo wangarek. A power of God came into me. And from then on, the word of God became my life. And because that lady came to my house and took me to the house of God, that the preaching of gospel saved my life, I made a desire. And I said, God, I'm going to live for you. Just like that woman came to my house that my life got saved I'm going to go to people's house and preach the gospel so that their lives will be saved and that's why I work 28 days a month is kuo doki sawa pira rio wi angweni kuo pareso but there are times ento tie sawa moku when months and months i keep working without a holiday dongi nwangu etiu odui kudui kudui mayomu pe because somebody's life is getting changed pirango kuo pangati moku belokire the gospel is the power of god e dong lem kwenda utie tegu paru othu mungu it's the weapon of god doke tie ku tegu paru othu that breaks strongholds. That destroys the work of the devil. When a person receives the word of God. When a person believes the word of God. When a person activates that word of God with his faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. So he says that the word of God is a power of God that breaks forth as strongholds. Now strongholds are of two kinds. One stronghold is the stronghold that comes from the devil. It is a thought that has been nurtured and nourished for years with the lies of the devil. There is another stronghold. The stronghold of God. When a person takes the word of God, meditates on it, nurtures it, nourishes it, day and night, and builds up a stronghold of faith, that no matter what comes, that person's mind is set on the word of God. So I pray that this crusade, crusade will break the stronghold of the enemy and build in you and build in you the stronghold of God by the power of the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 This word of God will cast down imaginations. If you have got wrong imaginations, this word of God will destroy those imaginations and create godly images in you. The ungodly images will be destroyed by the word of God. There are many, many who are seated here whose thoughts are ungodly and you are struggling my friend and you are saying God I want to be delivered today God is showing you a scripture and he is saying the word of God is not a carnal weapon but a spiritual weapon that comes from God the more and more you take God's word, it will produce godly images in you. And those ungodly images will be destroyed by the word of God. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Casting down imaginations. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Every lie. Of the devil will be exposed by the truth. Like yesterday, I asked you a question. How many of you believe that your future is in God's hands? After listening to yesterday's talk, you are still lifting your hands up. Who messed up Adam's life? Was it God? Or Adam's own decision, uh, disobedience? Huh? 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 Then Adam's future was in whose hand? Then how come you are saying God? How are you saying Mungo? Let, let me ask you another question. Was it God's plan to take the Israelites to the promised land? Yeah. Ayo. But did the Israelites reach the promised land? So, who messed up their future? Huh? They spoiled it by themselves. Then your future is in whose hand? Huh? Now you lifted your hands up. In the evening when I'll ask you the same question, your hands will go up again. Because your mind has got a stronghold, the lies of the devil. The truth will set you free. And that's what God is saying. Every high thing that exalts itself of God, it will bring it to captivity. I never like to play a game of luck. I always like to play the game of skill. I might lose the match today. But I will go back and learn. Go back and train myself. Go back and practice. And come and, play, and come and play the game again. And I can win. But a game of luck. There's no skill. Christianity. Christianity is not a game of skill. Eh, Christianity is Jesus teaching us his skill how to live victorious on this planet earth every day of our life. Eh, don't bear with your Christo. Utien go to go. Mi rieko kunu nyo mi diru mwa. Ento wa tiu kudiru paru wa Yesu Christo. Me ponju wa ipibilia pare. We kwa kuo kuo mupong jie sheng kutie wori sawa cheke. But if you don't know the truth, you will be continuing to believe the lies of the devil. The stronghold will keep you uh, all the time in darkness. And you will be praying. But it won't come to pass. That's why Jesus said. When my word abides in you. You shall know the truth. And the truth will set you free. So what do you need in this crusade? You don't need the healing. 
You need the truth on the healing so that you not only get healed but you will keep your health always healthy by the truth of the word of God. Others the preacher will come he will pray for you you will get healed but if you don't know the truth that sickness will come back and then you will say I went for the crusade I got healed but that sickness has come back but if you know the truth you will not only be healed now you will go and teach others how to be healthy all their life as well and hallelujah 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 not many people are happy when I say your future is in your hands. Because we people don't like to take responsibility. We like to put the responsibility on the priest. On the ministers. On others. On God. But not myself. But that's not what God is saying. Then the next one. This word of God which is a weapon. Is able to bring every thought into obedience of Christ. Every thought. Every thought. Every thought. Every thought. Every thought. God's word is able to bring every thought into obedience. Till today, if you have ever committed a sin, you can you have always committed a sin first by having a thought of it and then committing a sin. We can never disobey God without first thinking about it. And here is God saying that the word of God has the power to bring every thought into obedience of Christ. Let me teach you how it happens. Will you become like a child? I want to show you how it works. Will you become like a child? Okay. Aya. I want you to think, not open your mouth, think. Of counting the numbers from 1 to 100, but only in your mind, not opening your mouth. Nea ike kwa ni shako iya shiel, ni si di daka shiel, manangi be kwano well enu iparo peri, manwangi be yabu dogingo. Don't start, don't start. Kodi ke shaki. When I tell you, wang mawashu iri. Some of you already started coming. Dano moku shako ka kwano romo. Okay. Aya. When I open my mouth and I say some words, you must continue to think. Omaki made it a suni paro. But speak the words that I say. Are you ready? What are you ready? So all lips should be closed. But when I why, when I say some words, you are going to repeat the words. But you will not stop counting the the numbers in your mind. Are you ready? What are you ba? Okay, count. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Continue to count. Medira suni kwano kaka mijikiye. Say hallelujah. Wash hallelujah. Continue to count. Medira suni kwano. Say hallelujah. Wash hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, say it, say 
said, Watch Hallelujah. Us, Thank you, Jesus. Afo Yesu. Praise the Lord. Apaku Yesu. Glory to your name. Waworu nyingi. Come on, say, say. Medida su. Thank you, Jesus. Afo Yesu. Praise you, Jesus. Ameki Yesu. Glory to your name. Waru bedi nyingi. Jesus Christ is my Lord. Yesu Christ is my healer. Yes, Jakaya. Jesus is my deliverer. Yes, Jalara. What happened to your counting? Don't go to me. Kumpin me be kwani wisha. When you open your mouth and start speaking, Sami ya budogi shako kawesho. Your counting stops. Kwande ujik. That's what God is teaching us. Eni rela ma Yesu be ponjo, mungo be ponjo wa. We can never fight thoughts with thoughts. Wara mungo ni kedo e komparo komparo. Many people want to fight thoughts with thoughts. Dano ma polo mitu gikedi komparo komparo bende. If they are thinking on something, kai be pari kumlembe moku. They want to fight that thought. Iye nyu ni kedi kumlembe ne. With a thought. Komparo. You will be a loser. I bedu pare ngati ma lembe belui in. But if you have got some negative thoughts, and you open your mouth and speak the word of God, and you continue to speak the word of God, so many times that that thought that is running in your mind is completely captivated by the word of God. And that's how you fight the battle. When you're opening your mouth and speaking the word of God, that words coming out of your mouth becomes a spiritual net that captivates the spiritual thoughts and brings them into a, a, an, an arrested and makes it a prisoner. A gamin wango paro maraj miti pusha a makire ku voi milembe pamongo a gamedoku iko. And that's how you bring your mind to obedience to Christ. Eni re kite ma waketo paro muao tushi iwaro pamongo. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand for that. Aya wapedu shingu amadu wongman wapedu wafor wot. Thank you, Jesus. Wafor Yesu. Thank you, Jesus. Wafor Yesu. That's why when you're praising God, it's a powerful weapon that is, that is released out of your mouth. It goes and destroys the enemy. So for the next 10 minutes, we are going to have a song of praise. But before that, you should know the truth. We'll take a scripture from the Bible and based on that scripture, we will open our mouth and praise God. And whatever the scripture says, we will believe that scripture that those things are happening right now. Are you ready? What ya yuba? Are you ready? What ya yuba ya? What you are yuba ya? What ya yika? What you are yuba? What ya yuba? What you are yuba? What ya yuba ya? Yuba ya? Praise God. Haya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 8 verse 2. Where Padawudi abora verse in Ario. Psalms 8 verse 2. Abora Ario. Out of the babes of sucklings. Edong ni ai kudi ileb nyitindo. God has ordained praise. Mungu uketu pak. To destroy and paralyze the enemy. Ni nyoto. There are many mothers who are nursing their baby here. Their babies who are still sucking the mother's milk. And God is saying, Out of those babies' mouth, God has ordained praise. When the words of praise comes out of those babies' mouth, God is saying, a power is released and Tego. activated Tego moku be walk. that paralyzes the enemy, Tego pa that arrests the enemy, Tego pa that destroys the enemy. Jumone. If that can happen through the mouth of the Babes. And sucklings. How much more. 
out of our mouth. So this time when you are going to sing, I want you to use a new strong, make a new stronghold in your mind. That every word that is coming out of my mouth, praising my God, it's going with power, and the enemy that is blocking my way, in, in my relationship with God, I am firing the bullets of the words coming out of my mouth Abe. and the demons are being destroyed by the words coming out of my mouth. That's what God is saying. Is it there is it there in your Uganda Bible? In your translation, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, God has ordained there. grace. Is it there? It is there. Come on, is it there? It is there. Then why am I not seeing any everybody joyful? God just revealed to you the truth. Listen, listen, listen. You can sing the same song. Not knowing the truth. There is no faith released. Nothing happens. Now you know the scripture. Now you know that God is, God is the one who is going to back you up. Now you are responding to God with your faith. Now you are agreeing to God. And say God I want to put it into practice. And God is saying. You do it. I'll back you up and confirm my word with manifestation of my glory. Father, yes. I'm doubting because the people in your parish when you were speaking your language they would start screaming and they would go wild. I think the village changed. Your language over here, I don't think everybody understands. That's why only a few who understand when they start clapping, all the others start clapping. clapping. How many of you understand father's language? Oh my God. What language did you speak now? <laughs> I'm speaking the same language. Then how come when, I, when you're speaking the word of God, they don't respond? Or is it in this parish they don't respond? Maybe. When I was there for three days, the moment they came to know the truth, people who were sitting were standing and screaming. Are there other Africans there and these Africans are different? These are the same culture and tribe. Is it as the kilometers go people become more mild? Hey brother, hey brother, the last time I came you were with some tribes of with you. They were all gone crazy. They were wild. Your, your tribe is different. The last time I came, you remember? And so, people, so many people got healed. You remember that? So these people are from different parish? Hallelujah. 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 Do you believe out of your mouth God has ordained power of praise?
Can you can you just tell your people to respond? Donke wash ni danu peri e coordinator. Ne gamo lembe manda no katira kaginyangi iye. Yes. Jube washi ani akaju penju lembe moku game kuda va duondi na goma ku windire kadi. Ipa kwash izeu kukani ungo ai ai. Enu zo benyangu gi ungo benyangu goja ponji kudano magiti e malosha. Amen. Wakelo kukitwa iko dile makumeni ne. I think you have okay. spoken in the rightful language. I hope they will respond now. Okay, okay. Aya. Do you believe according to Psalms 8 verse 2 that your mouth has been ordained and anointed by God? Yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Jutuwa dongi wawe kuponji udongi wawe kudongi. Dongebe washu kumai. Wai andate kikwanu ibuku miweru pa Dawudi. Wish madonga bora. Matindu nario. Nia ya mungu unaru niwiru lebi kupak maduongi. What did he say? That they responded now. You are giving so much of energy and you are speaking with so much of strength. And the people on the other side. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, yeah. Do you believe now the words of praise of God that is coming out of your mouth has the power to paralyze the enemy? Hallelujah. 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 Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe according to Psalms 8 verse 2? Now, when we are going to praise God, every stronghold of the enemy that has been built for years, the Holy Spirit will, re will release a power in you that will break the stronghold of the devil. Mungu ni kumpa kumope shuturu shupa sitani. Megieri kuoperi. Kadi lakmi kwa ruperi. Kadi pasuperi. Ikumrundi kurundi. So now when we are going to go crazy praising God. Just like the Jericho wall came tumbling down. In the same way sickness, disease, powers of darkness. A cult, witchcraft, black magic. You every Thing from the kingdom of darkness will come tumbling down. I don't can do a yuni aya shalu gankiri mi jericho ruombire pen ni kum pak panyitin to me Israel. Don't wa yuni aka woni kadi to kadi remu kadi kuroga kadi alem kadi ruji majuketi kumi ubeshi ruombire shekeni kum pak mwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey. So when you are going to praise God, do you believe the glory of God will fill this place? Do you believe that Jericho wall came tumbling down in the old covenant? Now that we are in the new covenant with Jesus, much more will happen this very moment. Wall. Kuno nyo ganki di micheri koruombire. Shalo madong wati e iker manyen. Doki shikiri manyen po Yesu Kristo. Pinchi shi ke shiru ombire. Then those who only believe stand up. Others be seated. Dongo kwa yoko mai. Uti e kende kende dano magi ure magi ai. Kai ungo bedi. Only those who believe stand. Kende kende dano magi ure mawai ba. Only those who believe stand. Dano magi ure. Magi ai pirango lembe pa mungu chushungu ngoi. Dana kwacha kwacha. And now when you're opening your mouth. Edon kaipe ya putogi. I want you to talk to yourself. Amiti we shikuri giri. Every word that is coming out of my mouth. Nia lembe sheke ma upe ai kuni devu doga. It's destroying my enemy. Upe nyotu jumone para. Now remember your enemy is not your mother-in-law. No kaya nya wajiri ni aja dogi tien go damaro. Your enemy is not a human being. Your enemy is not a human being. 
your enemy is the powers of darkness so are you ready hey brother are you ready Loving Father, your word has been preached. You are true to your word. You have opened our eyes to understand that when we open our mouth and we praise you, our focus is changed from our problems to you. It stops every tech tactics of the devil activates the power released out and of our you mouth to walk, walk, oh. that paralyzes their enemy Father we are believing in faith and therefore Edong. As we praise you, Lord, let your glory fill this place. Let, you, uh, let us experience your glory. Let sicknesses and diseases be completely destroyed. The Spirit of God move in this place. Let faith arise in the hearts of your people. Those who have not encountered you, Jesus, let this anointing bring an experience with you. Almighty God, you said let there be light. And there was light. Right now in the name of Jesus, I am speaking. Let there be light in the hearts of your people. And every darkness be cast out of their mind. That every person will understand the love that you have for them. The kind of Desires that you have for them. The plans and purposes that you have for them. Lord, let not one person be ex uh, uh, exempted. Touch everyone over your Lord. And all those who are listening on the radio. All those who are at home and they are listening to this voice. The Spirit of God move in this place. Take over the whole village. Take over the whole town. Take over the whole city. Take over the whole country of Uganda. We believe in you, Lord. There is nothing impossible to you. And there is nothing impossible to us who believe in you. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Here we go. I'm a 
Thank you, Lord. What for you, what do I? Thank you, Jesus. What for you, so? We heard your word. What we enjoy and prepare. And in response to that word, man bende ni lobo lokeri mwa. We opened our mouth and began to praise you. Wa ya bodogo amanu shako kapeke. Not because that we will receive something from you. Utiengonia wabinwa ngopin mo kuku di bengi. But because we love you. Ento pirango wa Mary. And as we were praising you, Lord. Shalom wa bedu kapeki road. A mind was changed. Paro mo Allah kiri. A focus was taken away from our issues and problems. Edong paro mo a juti ngushen kodi kumpeku mo a ento wanenu bengi. And our thoughts were focused on you. Edong paro mo a betiro in. Lord your word says Rot lembe periwasho that in your presence near ivuti mountains melt like wax doki kadi guri loi igenu your word says dong lembe periwasho out of the mouth of babes and sucklings e leb nyitin do ma gibi gibe dodu tunu you have ordained praise e daru ni wiro pak to defeat the enemy ne loyo jurumone father god you are watching mongo ibedu kaneno nothing is hidden from you gin moku mupondi bengi pe you are watching these people ibedu kaneno dano Your children, Nintendo Perry, praising you, Upeki, with loud voice, Kupak Madid, with all their heart, Kushwingi Sheke, with all their strength, Kukeru Pegi Sheke, dancing, Gib Miel, in glory, Iwaro, thanking you, Gib Foyi, that you are their Lord, Nia Inirot Mege, O Father, Rodoa, we belong to you, Watie Perry. As we were praising you, Shalom Obedu Kapeke. I thank you. Afoi. According to your word, Nilobo Lembe Peri. Strongholds are broken. Ocho Sheke Otor. Every stronghold of the enemy is broken. I don't take up a jumone Sheke Otoro. Lord, just as it happened, the Jericho walls came tumbling down. Road kinde ma oti mire kodeni a ganki di mi Jericho oi. In the same way. Iore marome ni. At this very moment. Ikare ma eni. Your Holy Spirit. Tipo Peri. Actively. 
has healed and delivered your people. Thank you Lord for the great and mighty healings that have taken place in the lives of these people. Thank you Lord that you have given us a new revelation that my mouth is anointed. Words when they come out of my mouth in faith in you it destroys the work of the devil. Lord thank you that so many of the mountains the problems that these people were going through that we were going through you have destroyed them completely and you have set your people free Father we thank you for the signs and wonders and miracles that have taken place and they continue to take place in your presence Lord just as Paul and Silas when they were in the prison they gave loud praises to you. There was a massive earthquake. The doors flung open. The chains were broken. In the same way, right now, all spiritual chains that were binding your people by the power of praise those those chains are broken. The doors are flung open. People who are in oppression and depression. Suicidal tendencies. Fear. Fear. They have been set free from all captivity. Oh Lord, we have believed this truth. And we have received this truth. And we have seen the manifestation of your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, well, how, how many of you experience physical healing? Can you lift your hands up, please? How many of you experience physical healing? Lift your hands up, please. Wave your hands. Look, Father, how many? So many. Praise God. Can we give the Lord a big hand? How many of you are believing that you have been set free from fear? Lift your hands up, please. You had fear, but now the fear is gone. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Wow, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. How many of you have been set free from stronghold in your mind? The negative strongholds. Praise the Lord. Oh, for you, Jesus Christ, oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So how many of you are going to cultivate a new lifestyle of praise and thanksgiving and stop complaining and grumbling? I can see all hands lifted up. That's what the word of God has done. Change your thinking. And broken the stronghold of the enemy. Let's give the Lord a big hand of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've just started on the topic of praise. Until, until tonight I will be preaching on praise when we come back we will learn more and more deeper of the power of praise and when you develop this lifestyle the power of praise coming out of your mouth will continue to lead you on a journey of great victory thank you Jesus amen